Hey guys, this is uh, Tom Warren from The Verge. We're just looking at the Windows Phone 8 emulator today. Um, so the first thing you'll notice um, is obviously the new uh, start screen um, tiles that Microsoft introduced at the Windows Phone Summit um, in June. Now you can move the tiles around as normal, um, but you can actually shrink the size of them now. Um, so this is the small tile, um, which you can then obviously move it back to the normal tile. Um, some of the additional tiles, um, like the messaging or the calendar um, or the mail tile here, you can actually edit this one so that you've got the really large tile um, or the medium one um, and obviously the small one as well. So it's quite um, easy to ed edit uh, the tiles there. Um, if we move into the settings, um, this, the settings are very similar to the existing Windows Phone. Um, but we've actually got a notifications uh, setting here on the lock screen that allows you just to, to set any app to um, to provide notifications on the lock screen. Um, so that's that's a change from Windows Phone 7.5. Um, you've obviously got the NFC tap and send um, sharing here, um, which you can toggle on and off. Um, and the next thing that's really new that Microsoft hasn't really detailed is the backup settings. Um, so you can see here you've got an app list and settings, um, which will store your Internet Explorer favorites. Um, or your list of apps um, in the cloud. Um, so you just simply sign into your Microsoft account for that. Um, text messages will also be stored in the cloud here, um, so you can turn that on, on and off. And Microsoft is also adding options for to control video and photos uploading to SkyDrive. Next up, there's a new data sense feature, and this allows you to basically track your data usage. Um, so you can see here, you can set it up for one time, monthly or unlimited, um, and the specific day of the month that that data uh, resets. Um, so say you've got 512 meg um, from your carrier, you can track to see how much you're actually using um, and when your limit's going to reset. You can also uh, pin data sense to the start screen, um, and it has a live tile that will warn you when your data's finished. Microsoft's obviously done some work on the start screen to improve it, um, but they've also improved the themes as well. Um, so you can see here there's a colour picker that allows you to pick a variety of colours, um, and if you pick one it obviously changes the colour throughout the whole um, operating system. So we're also expecting uh, Microsoft to improve its mobile Internet Explorer. Um, some signs of that are here in the SDK. So we've got an address bar setting here that allows us to swap the buttons from uh, tabs to refresh and to favourites. And what you'll notice if we go back um, in the bottom left, there's, an, there's a tab button now and that allows us to control the tabs rather than the refresh um, button that's typically there. Um, you can also change that obviously back to uh, favourites. Um, so you can have the favourites there um, to access your mobile favourites on the go. The SDK um, also gives us a look at some of the camera functions that uh, Microsoft's planning to integrate here. Um, so you'll notice there's an apps button, um, which immediately gives us access to Bing Vision uh, within the actual camera application. Now if we go back, um, there's the option to find more lenses, um, which are basically app extensions for the camera. Alongside some camera improvements, Microsoft's also adding some functionality to its Photos app. So you can see here there's a select button down the bottom, which allows you to multi-select photos, um, which you can then favorite, um, delete, or you can also share. Um, so we're hoping to see more share options, as they're fairly limited right now. Um, but it's, it's a good sign to see that you can actually multi-select photos in, in the app now. Um, there's also some edit features that have been added as well. Um, so you can go into a single photo and then uh, hit the edit um, option. Um, and there's some cropping, rotating, and obviously the standard auto fix. You also get an aspect ratio option here, so you can pick um, whatever aspect ratio you want for the crop, um, but you've also got the ability to control it yourself. In Microsoft's Bing application, the company's also adding in theater information, top videos, and top headlines that you can swipe to reveal. There's also some changes to the built-in Xbox application here. Um, now these changes are mainly visual um, and they appear to resemble the Xbox Smart Glass that we saw at E3 this year. Microsoft's also changing its uh, music and videos hub. Now this looks like almost identical to the Xbox hub now um, and there's even access to the Xbox Music Store from within here. Um, it closely resembles a Zune experience. Um, as you can see you can go in and play songs or um, obviously download and purchase them. Most of the store isn't functional through the emulator, um, but you can obviously see that it's very similar to the Windows Phone Marketplace. Okay, so that was a quick look at Windows Phone 8 running on the Windows Phone 8 SDK emulator, um, which we're expecting to be available in preview soon.